What's with the Malacca parking over here? Oh. We parked like a Malacca. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Ricky and Isan here. Just out here in the rice fields. Which are pretty bare at the moment. People have brought their buffaloes out. I'm just taking the, uh, the dog for his morning walk. Seeing what's going on. And uh, if you can't tell by my jumper, it's quite cold at the moment out here in Isan. Gets as low as 17 degrees at night, which might sound ridiculous to some of you, but when you're accustomed to the weather and you've been living out here for, uh, well, it's my third cold season now, it does, uh, it does feel cold when the, when the cold kicks in, which is crazy. I used to go to work in Australia when it was four degrees and wear shorts. So now I'm complaining about 17, 18, it's probably 20 degrees now, but it's just, yeah, there's a bit of a wind chill, but yeah, it's just bloody cold. What can I say? What am I up to today? I'm gonna take mum into Chayapoom. She wants to go to a dental clinic. So I think we're just gonna go get a quote today. We're not actually gonna do any work, but who knows? But yeah, it's a very cool morning. I'm supposed to be going hiking soon too. Um, up in Loy. Loy, Loy. Going for a proper hike up there and uh, it's gonna be cold at night up there. Cause I'll be, I can't remember the name, Pool Credu or something. I put the name up. Literally, you gotta hike up there. There's no way to get up on, up that mountain. There's no roads or nothing. And then uh, you camp up there and it's gonna be freezing, but uh, should be right for a few nights. I'll tough it out. This fellow will have to stay here on his own. But yeah, let's see what we get up to today. Baby Daisy's all rugged up. Sorry, sorry Daisy, just watch you up. <laughs> Having a kip. And uh, baby Lily. What are you doing, Lou? Baby Lily's over here with uh, her grandmother. Hello. How are you going with the cold, mum? If you call this the cold. Very similar to Melbourne's weather. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? Even though I guess it took us up to 29 degrees, but. Feels like a Melbourne morning, doesn't it? Yeah, very much a Melbourne morning before it gets warm. And you've been here since the start of October, so you've sort of um, acclimatised rather, qu rather quickly, I guess, rather than getting off the plane last week from Melbourne. You'd be walking around in a singlet right now and turning on the air conditioner, I guess. True. Now yeah. I'm wearing long sleeve, yeah. top and long pants. Yeah. So I haven't shown what we've been up to because it's been doing my head in, but we went to the dentist uh, and my mum wasn't too happy with what they said she needed done. So now she's saying she's gonna do it in Australia, which is frustrating for me. Then we've gone to the bank, we had issues at the bank, but then we went to another bank and we finally managed to get some cash out. But now we're here in, uh, here at La Pizza for lunch, just across from this, uh, it's like a secondhand market. There's a few restaurants and stuff in this area. So I don't know what this area is called, but if you're ever in Chayapoom, I reckon it's worth a check out. Uh, definitely worth checking out La Pizza anyway. I love this place, I come here a lot. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna grab some lunch now. The uh, spaghetti bolognese and pizza. Ready for some lunch, Mum? Most definitely. Sweet, and I might even uh, take her up to the mountain, I reckon, uh, after this as well. Just have a look at the view while we're, uh, we're out here for the day anyway. Alrighty, so the spaghetti's here. It's brilliant for rural Thailand, Mum's got the same. We've also got to uh, cheese pizza on the way, so yeah. Great carbs fix right here. Love this little place. And here's a cheese pizza. Brilliant. What do you reckon, Mum? Yep, that's all you need to do. Give us a nod. <laughs> Food was brilliant as always. Absolutely stuffed, but great meal. So how was lunch, Mum? It was really good. Brilliant. Um, gonna head up to Mohin Cow, the mountain. You keen to go see the stone hedge of Thailand and then we'll have a look at this ripper viewpoint right above it. You wanna go do that? Sounds great. Awesome, we're halfway there. Like from our house where we are to the mountain, you know, we might as well just make use of the day. We haven't got a whole heap going on now, so we'll just uh, yeah, get up there and show Mum what's going on. Freezing again, I'm freezing. We're just um, 765 meters now above sea level. We've still got a bit further up to go and we're at the uh, 
Mohin Khao. Apparently it's the uh, stone hedge of Thailand, but it's not really a stone hedge. This is a natural, a natural occurrence. Mum's just up there now. Let's, uh, let's get a bit further up. Amazing Thailand, unseen new chapters. So this is actually free to visit as well. Unlike a lot of the other tourist attractions, you can come in here completely free. There's no one guarding the entrance at all. When you do go further up to the viewpoint, I think it's a ripper view, absolutely worth it. The viewpoint is about a hundred baht. So I don't know if you can see mum over there, but the, the rock's about six times bigger than her. And it's probably about 24, 23 degrees here at the moment. It'll be a bit colder further up. This mountain range itself has got a few pretty cool attractions that are that is probably worth the visit if you're in the sort of area. If you're in Korat, Konkan, Chayapum, other provinces around, probably is worth a bit of a day trip out here. Because this is pretty cool to see. But uh, I wouldn't probably head all the way out here from Bangkok or something to see it. Maybe if you're visiting someone or I get a lot of people who want to come visit me. This, this, is, a, this is a good excuse to come out to the area. Besides that, there's not a whole heap to do. What do you reckon, Mum? It's always nice here. You came here in March. March. Yeah. It's always nice here. And we're going to take you up to the viewpoint. Just, I think it's about a kilometre or two further up, and you can stand on the side of a cliff and look out towards uh, Pechabun, I think it is, or parts of Chiapum and towards Pechabun. So it's like a real sandy sort of rocky surface, this place. There is also a Tatton waterfall. Um, I've, I've taken under Tatton waterfall before, but just, yeah, didn't really want to do that one today. Just this, this one's a quick and easy one to come see anytime you want more him cow. And then the viewpoint just further up. The waterfall, you probably do want to spend a couple of hours there. There's a lot to do and um, a few hiking trails. You can go swimming in the, uh, the creek or what, the river, whatever it is, before the waterfall as well, it's uh, yeah, quite nice, but a bit fresh up here at the moment. Are you cold, Mum? No, it's quite nice. Not cold, okay. I'm a little bit cold, I should have brought a jumper and a scarf. All right, we're only here for probably 10 minutes. We'll hop in a car and we'll go up to the, uh, the viewpoint. This is also uh, one of my cycling spots, and yeah, ha having this mountain range and these little attractions so close to um, where I live is pretty cool, I think. So yeah, I like it, I like it. So we just got some camping grounds here as you drive up here on top of the hill. It's called Fa Hua Nak Viewpoint. Um, Fa Hua Nak, I put the name up, but you got some camping grounds. I will come camp here one day. Not sure when. Alrighty, so we're at 905 meters elevation now. Check out the view. Uh, you can actually rent a tent over there if you do want to camp in the camping grounds. So. Renting all the stuff you need is pretty easy in Thailand for these uh, national parks. Mum was a bit shocked yet to pay to get in here. Because obviously in Australia, you just, as far as I know, all the national parks are free. There might be some where you pay, but usually just drive in, aren't you? Let's have a look up at this little viewpoint. Maximum occupancy, five people. Seems pretty strong to me. Looking at a view, Mum. The view's phenomenal, it's really pretty. See all the villages out there, out across Chayapum, probably towards Pechabun. Not something you see every day. More mountain yeah, ranges over there. If you come here when the air quality is perfect, ah, oh, it'd be beautiful. Still pretty good now. Fa Hua Nak viewpoint. Got the groundskeepers. So just for reference, um, Chaipum City is just here. And then this mountain range is just all right here. It's just 30 minutes from the city. So you've got Tatton Waterfall, Mohin Khao where we went to, and then Pa Hua Nak viewpoint. You've got three um, pretty good attractions right there near Chaipum City for every out here. And there's also a pretty cool Buddhist temple that you'll see along the way, but I think if you're visiting Thailand, you might want to check it out. Um, if you live in Thailand, I mean, most of the temples are just the same thing. A bit like the markets. The markets and the temples are all really the same everywhere you go, so you don't really fuss too much about them. Like, my village temple is probably just as exciting as that temple, to be honest. 
But here's the view up on the fence here. What do you reckon, Mum? It's really, really beautiful. Overlooking Chayapoom. I don't know what town this is or what village this is. I could look it up on Google Maps, I guess, but it looks pretty big. Got to be a town. It wouldn't be a village, that one. We'll go up here to some nice uh, viewpoints up along the cliff. Do not get too close to the edge because it is a proper drop-off with no, no safety means or, you know, no fencing or nothing. Classic... Uh, Thailand laid back style which I love but a bit of a nice little rock climb to get up there check this out just literally a proper cliff drop off and you can just walk right up to it I mean you might get this in outback Australia but uh, yeah, probably less and less common here in uh, <laughs> getting the wobbles. I'm getting the wobbles. Oh, probably less and less, I'm not gonna be over there. less and less common uh, closer to the big Australian cities with all the OH and S. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Looking over this little, I guess it's a jungle, up out across the villages of Chayapoom. Don't know how easy it is to get to this area because it's all mountain ranges like a horseshoe. And it keeps going all the way along, so I don't know how you even get across there. It might take them hours just to get to Chaiprim City, which is just, you know, just down the road. But I guess just the way the landscape is, it could be like, yeah, really different down there. But what do you reckon? For 100 baht, do you reckon this is worth it? What's 100 baht? Four Australian dollars? Worth it in my opinion. I've come up here plenty of times now. I think I've been here maybe five couple times on the bicycle, a couple times in the car, and I guess now with mum as well. It is a ripper bike ride doing this one, especially going down the mountain. Quite a quite a bit of work going up, obviously. What do you reckon, mum? You like this place? Yeah, it's very much like, I wouldn't say the Dandenongs, it's a bit of Yarra Valley. Oh yeah, like the Yarra yeah. Valley. Down near um, Yarra Glen and all that. Yeah. Down back there. Nice drop-offs. Oh, I love it. I love it. 100 baht. Mate, make it 200. I'd pay 200 to come here. I know a lot of uh, Westerners don't like it because tyres pay, pay a smaller fee. And I mean, I get it because I live here. I should just pay the local fee, but it is what it is. I'm just grateful to be in this wonderful country of Thailand. What's with the Malacca parking over here? Oh. We parked like a Malacca. <laughs> Bit of a spontaneous visit today. I had uh, Warren and some more all the way from Melbourne. Me and Ed, we actually knew them in Melbourne and uh, they're in holiday here at, at the moment out in Korat City and they uh, just gave us a spontaneous visit, brought us some uh, gifts for the babies. Uh, spontaneous visit without even giving us a heads up and I wasn't home but uh, worked out all right in the end. A couple of baby hats, a couple of baby bottles. Uh, General clothings, like proper leggings. I don't even know when I can use these on the babies. Maybe it's soon. Nappies, baby formula. This is like, uh, it's like sleeping hats. Daryl Lee chocolate. I think there was a fair few blocks. I don't know where they are. I think the Thai family might've grabbed some of them. And I think, what are they, just normal bottles? So yeah, it was great to see them again. I'll put a photo up now. It was a uh, yeah, very spontaneous visit. They got lost trying to get here. So they got here late as well. I think they got here like 7 p.m. I was in Jayapoom and yeah, managed to get down here in time to see them for a while and now they've uh, headed back to Korat City where we'll hopefully go see them uh, before they leave. They want us to go up there to uh, have a bit of Mukata with them, so that'd be great. But yeah, thank you so much for uh, visiting, guys. If you're watching the video, I don't even know if you're aware of my channel, but yeah, it was great. And yeah, we've got a parcel here from a subscriber, Penny, in Melbourne, south southeast Melbourne, too, the area I'm from. They sent us through a bit of a care package for the babies. Let's have a look what we've got here. We've got a couple of uh, dummies. Oh, they're the. Um, they're the straight dummies, mum. Like uh, that's perfect for them with the with the bottle of milk. Brilliant. Oh, a Malvin magnet. We have to stick that on the fridge. Couple little toys. Kangaroo with a uh, boomerang. We've got a couple of books here for the babies, so I can read to them. Someone actually told me I can start reading to them now. 
Oh, there we are. Hippo, duck, frog. Teach them a bit of English. That's not my bunny book. Oh, it's, it's got a real fluff there too. So a couple of books to read to uh, Lily and Daisy. And a few, a few shirts. Brilliant. Do you reckon that size is perfect, Mum? Yep. With the koala. Oh, here we are. We've got, we've got koala baby bib. A couple of them. And another koala. Uh, is that a bib? Yeah. A couple of koala bibs here as well. For the, uh, what they koalas. I know. Koala. So thank you so much, Penny. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely make great use out of this with Lily and Daisy. So thank you so much.